And we are back with part two of this week's Bible study um, through the Messianic Jewish Family Bible Tree of Life version. We're doing First Chronicles 1 through 10, and this is the Bible study for Waymaker Messianic Jewish and Christian Center USA. I ended abruptly because I could not trust the counter to be telling me an accurate uh, time frame, and it was not accurate. It was off by about 10 minutes, but at that point, I wasn't sure uh, how how much time I had already recorded, and uh, unfortunately, I could have recorded an extra six minutes, but uh, to be safe, I just ended abruptly. So we are now at chapter three of First Chronicles, and this is David's descendants. Now, these were the sons of David who were born to him in Hebron. The firstborn was Amnon by Anna, Anna, Ahinom, the Jezreelite woman. Second, Daniel by Abigail, the Carmelite woman. And third, Absalom, the son of Maka, the daughter of King Talma of Geshur. Fourth, Adonijah, the son of Haggith. And fifth, Shephatiah by Abital, the sixth, Ithram by his wife, Egla. Six were born to him in Hebron. There he reigned seven years and six months. Then in Jerusalem he reigned thirty-three years. These were born to him in Jerusalem, Shimea, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon. These four were born from Bathshua, the son of Amiel. And the other nine were Ibhar, Elishama, Elephelet, Noga, Nepheg, Japhia, Elishama, Eliada, and Elephelet. All these were sons of David besides his sons by the concubines. Tamar was their sister. Solomon's son's son was Rehoboam. Abijah was his son. Asa, was, Asa his son. Jehoshaphat his son. Joram his son. Ahaziah his son. Jo, Joash his son. Amaziah his son. Azariah his son. Jotam his son. Ahaz his son. Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son, Ammon his son, and Josiah his son. The sons of Josiah, Johanan the firstborn, Jehoiakim the second, Zedekiah the third, and Shalom the fourth. The sons of Jehoiakim, Jeconiah was his son, Zedekiah his son, the sons of Jeconiah, the captive, Shealtel his son, Malcharim, Padai, Shenazar, Jechamiah, and Hosham, Hoshamah, and Nedabiah, the sons of Padai, were Zerubbabel and Shimei, the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshalom, and Hananiah. Shalomith was their sister, and five others Hashabuah, Ohel, Berakiah, Hazadiah, and Jusha Behezed. The sons of Hananiah, Pelatiah, Jeshai, whose son was Raphai, whose son was Arnon, whose son was Obadiah, whose son was Shechaniah, the descendants of Shechaniah, Shemaiah, and sons Hattush, Egal, Barai, Neri, and Shaphat, six in all. The sons Neri, Elioni, Hiskiai, and Azakram, three in all. The sons of Elioni were Hodaviah, Eliashib, Pelai, Akub, Johanan, Delai, and Ananai. Seven in all. In chapter four is Judah's descendants. The sons of Judah, Judah are Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Raya, the son of Shobal, fathered Jahath, and Jahath fathered Ahumai and Lahad. These were the families of the Zorathites. These were the sons of Etham, Etham, I'm sorry, Jezreel, Ishma, and Edbash. The sons, their sisters were Hazlaponi. Uh, Penuel was the father of Gedor, and Ezer, the father of Hush, Husha. These were the descendants of her, the firstborn of Ephrathah, the father of Bethlehem, Asher, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hela and Nara. Nara bore him Ahuzam, Hefer, Tem, Temeni, and Ahashtari. These were the sons of Nara, the sons of Hela, Zerah, Zohar, and Ethnan. Koz fathered Eneb and Zobed. Zobaba, and the families of Aharhel, the son of Haram. 
prayer of Jabez. Now, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. The mother named him Jabez, saying, Because I bore him with pain, Jabez called out to the God of Israel, saying, If only you would greatly bless me and enlarge my territory, let your hand be with me and keep me from harm, so that I might not suffer pain. And then I granted what he said. Other descendants of Judah, he loved the brother of Shuha, Shuha fathered Meher, who was the father of Eshton, Eshton fathered Beth Rapha, Pasia, and Tahina, the father of Ernahash. These were the men of Rika, the sons of Kenaz, Othniel, and Zerah, the sons of Othniel, Hata, and Mionathai, who fathered Ophra. Sarai father Joab, the father of Gerhashem, for they were craftsmen, the sons of Caleb, sons of Jephunneh, Eru, Elah, and Nam, the sons of Elah, Kenaz, the sons of Jehalel, Zif, Zipha, Tiria, and Azarel, the sons of Ezra, Jether, Mered, Eper, and Jalan. She also bore Miriam, Shama, and Ishva, the father of Eshtemoa. His Judahite wife bore Jared, the father of Gidor, Heber, the, the father of Soho, and Zechathiel, the father of Zeno. These were the sons of Bithia, Pharaoh's daughter, who married, married the sons of Hodiah's wife, the sister of Nahum, the father of Kila, the Garmite, and Eshtemoa, the Mechathite the sons of Shimon, Amnon, Rena, Ben-Hanan, and Telon, the sons of Isha, Ishi, I'm sorry, Zoheth, and Ben-Zoheth, the sons of Shila, sons of Judah, Ur, the father of Lika, Lada, the father of Merisha, the families of the linen workers at Beth, the Shibia, and Jochum, the men of Kozeba, and Joash, and Sarah, who had dominion in Moab and Jashubi Lahem. The records are ancient. These were the potters and those who lived in Natum and Gedorah. They lived there while doing the king's work. Descendants of Simeon, the sons of Simeon, Nemuel, Jamin, Jareb, Zerah, Shal, his son Shalem, his sons Mibsam, and his son Mishma, the descendants of Mishma, Hamuel, Zachar, his son, and Shemai, his son. Now, Shemai had 16 sons and six daughters, but his brothers did not have many sons, so their family did not become as numerous as the sons of Judah. They dwelt in Beersheba, Moladah, Hazor Shuel, Bilhah, Ezem, Tol Toled, Bethuel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth, Markaba. Hazar Susim, Beth Beri, and Sharim, these were their towns until the reign of David, together with their villages, Etam, Ain, Rimon, Token, and Ashen, five and all, along with all the villages that surrounded the, these towns as far as Baal. These were their habitations. Registered in these genealogical records were Meshabath, Jemiak, Josha, and the sons of Amaziah. Joel, Jehu, son of Josabiah, son of Zerai, son of Asioth, Elioena, Jacobah, Jeshuaiah, Esai, Ediel, Jeshemel, Bene, and Zia, son of Shifi, son of Alan, son of Jedi, son of Shimri, son of Shemaiah. These mentioned by name were leaders in their families and their clans increased greatly. Now they went to the entrance of Gedor, to the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. They found rich and good pasture, and the land was spacious, quiet, and peaceful. The former inhabitants were Hamites. Those, now those whose names were recorded came during the days of King Hezekiah of Judah. They attacked the encampments of the Hamites, as well as the Meunim, who were found there, and utterly wiped them out to this very day. They settled in their place because there 
was pasture there for their flocks. About 500 of them from the descendants of Simeon led by Pelatiah, Nerai, Rephbaiai, and Uziel, the sons of Ishi, went to Mount Seir, where they struck down the remaining Amalekites who had escaped, and they lived there to this day. Now we have the descendants of Reuben in chapter 5. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, he was the firstborn, but when he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given to the sons of Joseph, son of Israel. So he is not reckoned as the firstborn in the genealogical record. Though Judah was the strongest among his brothers and a ruler came from him, the birthright belonged to Joseph. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Enoch, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi, the descendants of Joel, his son Shemaiah, his sons God, his son Sh Shemai, his sons Micah, his sons Rea, his son Baal, and his son Bera, whom Tilagath Pilanazar, king of Assyria, carried into exile. He was the leader of the Reubenites, his kinsmen by their families, as listed in the genealogical records. The leader Jeziel, Zechariah, and Bela, son of, of Azaz, son of Shema, son of Joel. They settled in Aror, Aror. Um, A-R-O-E-R, -E as far as Nebo and Baal Neon, while in the east they settled as far as the entrance of the wilderness from this side of the river Euphrates, because their cattle had multiplied in the land of Gilead. Now in the days of Saul, they had made war with the Hag Hagrites, who fell by their hand. So they lived in their encampments in the entire eastern area of Gilead. Now the sons of Gad, lived opposite them in the land of Bashan, as far as Salka, Joel the leader, Shaphem second, then Janai, then Shaphat in Bashan, their kinsmen according to their ancestral families, Mike, Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Zorari, Zakan, Zaya, and Eber, seven in all. These were the sons of Abihail, son of Puri, son of Jeroi, son of Gilead, son of Michael, son of Je Jehishai, son of Jado, son of Buz. Ahi, son of Abdiel, son of Guni, was leader of their ancestral families. They lived in Gilead in Bashan and its, in its surrounding villages and in all the pasture lands of Sharon up to their borders. All these were recorded by genealog genealogies in the days of Jadam, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. The sons of Reuben and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh had 44,760 warriors ready for war, men who carried shield and sword and drew the bow and were skilled in battle. So they, were, they made war with the Hagrites, Jeter, Nef, Nefesh, and Nodab. They received help against them so that the Hagrites and all who were with them were delivered into their hand, for they cried out to God during the battle. He answered their supplications because they put their trust in him. They took away their livestock, 50,000 of their camels, 250,000 sheep, and 2,000 donkeys, as well as 100,000 people. For many fell slain because the war was of God, so they dwelt in their place until the exile. Manasseh, east of Jordan. Now the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh settled in the land from Bashan to Baal, Hermon, Sinir, and, and Mount Hermon. They were numerous. They were the heads of their clan, Ephraim, Ishi, Eliel, Azrael, Jeremiah, Hod Hodaviah, Jadiel. The, they were mighty men of valor, famous men, heads of their clans. They were unfaithful to the God of their fathers and prostituted themselves to the gods of the peoples of the land whom God had destroyed before them. So the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of King Pul of Assyria, the spirit of Tilagath, Pils Pilanus, Pilnazar, king of Assyria, and he carried away the Reubenites, the Gadites, and half tribe of Manasseh, and brought them to Hala, Haber, Hera, and to the river of Gozan to this day. Descendants of Levi, the sons of Levi, Levi Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, the sons of Kohath are, are Amron, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The children of Amron are Aaron, Moses, and Miriam, the sons of Aaron were Nadav, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. So these were the sons of 
of Aaron. Eleazar fathered Phineas, and Phineas fathered Abishua. Abishua fathered Buki, and Buki fathered Uzi. Uzi fathered Zerahai. Zerahiah fathered Marioth. Marioth fathered Amariah, and Amariah fathered Ahitab. Ahitab fathered Zadok, and Zadok fathered Ahimaz. Ahimaz fathered Azariah, and Azariah. Azariah fathered Johanan. Johanan fathered Azariah, who served as Kohen in the house that Solomon built in Jerusalem. Azariah fathered Amariah, and Amariah fathered Ahitub. Ahitub fathered Zadok, and Zadok fathered Shalom. Shalom fathered Hilkiah, and Hilkiah fathered Azariah, and Azariah fathered Sariah, and Sarah fathered Jehozadak. Jehozadak went into captivity when Adonai exiled Judah. And Jerusalem by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. And now we have chapter 6, the sons of Levi, Gershom, Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershom, Libni, Shem, and Shimei. And the sons of Kohath are Amram, Ishtar, Hebron, and Uziel. The sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites according to their clans of Gershom, Libni, his son, Jehath, his son, Zima, his son, Joah, his son, Edo, his son, Zerah, his son, and Jer Jerahiah, his son. The sons of Kohath, and Minadab, his son, Korah, his son, Aser, his son, Elkanah, his son, and Abiasaph, his son, and Asar, his son, and Tehath, his son, Oriel, his son, Uziah, his son, and Shal, his son. And the sons of Elkanah, are Amasa, Ahimoth, his son Elkanah, Zophai, his son, Nahath, his son, Eliab, his son, and Jerahom, his son, Elkanah, his son, the sons of Samuel, his firstborn, Vashni, then Abia, the sons of Merari, are Mali, Libni, his son, Shemia, his son, Uza, his son, Shemi, his son, Hagia, his son, Asa, his son. Now, these are the men David appointed to be in charge of the singing in the house of Adonai after the ark came to rest. They ministered with song in front of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting until Solomon built the house of Adonai in Jerusalem. They carried out their avodah according to their regulations. These are the ones who took their station with their sons. Of the sons of the Kohathites, Heman the singer, son of Joel, son of Samuel, son of Elkina, son of Jeroham, son of Eliel, son of Toa, son of Zuf, son of Elkina, son of Mahath, son of Amasa, son of Elkina, son of Joel, son of Azariah, son of Zephaniah, son of Tehath, son of Aser, son of Abiasath, son of Korah, son of Ezar, son of Kohath, son of Levi, son of Israel. His kinsmen, Asaph, stood on his right, Asaph, son of Berechiah, son of Shemaiah, son of Michael, son of Beziah, son of Malkajah, son of Ethni, son of Zerah, son of Adai, son of Ethan, son of Zima, son of Shammai, son of Jabez, son of Gershom, son of Levi. On the left hand, their kinsmen, the sons of Merari, Ethan, son of Kishi, son of Abdi, son of Malak, son of Hashabiah, son of Amaziah, son of Hilkiah, son of Amzi, son of Bani, son of Shemar, son of Mali, son of Mushi, son of Merari, son of Levi. The follow, their fellow Levites were appointed for all the Abadah of the tabernacle of the house of God, but Aaron and his sons were the ones presenting offerings on the altar of burnt offering and on the altar of incense for all the service of the Holy of Holies, and to make atonement for Israel according to all that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded. Now these are the sons of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phineas his son, Abishua his son, Buki his son, Uzi his son, Zerahiah his son, Merioah his son, Amariah his son, Ahitab his son, Zedek his son, and Ahimaz his son. Towns and lands for Levites. Now these are their dwelling places according to their encampments in their territories to Aaron's sons of the Kohathites families for theirs was the first lot for them they assigned Hebron in the land of Judah and the open land around it, but the fields of the city and the villages they gave to Caleb, son of Jephunneh. The two sons of Aaron they gave the cities of refuge Hebron, 
also Libnan with its open land, Jeter, Eshtemoa, and with its open land, Hillen with its open land, Deborah with its open land, Ashen with, it, with its open land, and Beth Shemesh with its open land. From the tribe of Benjamin, Geba with its open land, and Elamath with its open land, and Anathah with its open land. They had 13 cities in all among their families. To the rest of the sons of Kohath, 10 cities were assigned to, by lot from the family of the half tribe of Manasseh to the sons of Gershom. According to their families, 13 cities were assigned from the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the tribe of Manasseh and Bashan. To the sons of Merari, 12 cities were assigned by lot according to their families, from the tribe of Reuben, from the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulun. So Benaiah Israel gave the Levites the cities with their open land. They also assigned by lot from the tribe of the children of Judah, from the tribe of the children of Simeon, and from the tribe of the children of Benjamin, the cities that were mentioned by name. Some of their families of the sons of Kohath had cities of their territory from the tribe of Ephraim. They assigned to them as cities of refuge, Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, with his open land, Gezer also with its open land, Jachmum with its open land, Beth Horon with its open land, Ajalon with its open land, and Gathrimon with its open land. Also from the half tribe of Manasseh, Aner with its open land, and Bilium with its open land, and for the rest of the family of the sons of Kohath to the sons of Gershom were assigned from the family of the half tribes of Manasseh, Golan, Golan in Bashan with its open land, and Ashtaroth with its open land, and from the tribe of Issachar, Kedesh with its open land, Dobrath with its open land, Ramath with its open land, and Anam with its open land, and from the tribe of Asher, Mashal and with its open land, Abdon with its open land, Hukak with its open land, Rehab with its open land, and from the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with its open land, Hammon with its open land, and Kiriathum with its open land. To the rest, the sons of Merari were assigned from the tribe of Zebulun, Rimana, Rimano with its open land, Tabor and with its open land, and beyond the Jordan at Jericho, on the east side of the Jordan from the tribe of Reuben, Bezer in the wilderness with its open land, Jahesh with its open land, Kidamoth with its open land, and Meph Mepheth with its open land, and from the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and, and Gilead with its open land, Mahanaim with its open land, Heshbon with its open land, and Jazer with its open land. And I'm going to pause it here, and we're going to come back with part three.